Hello everyone, here we are going to start with a new topic, direct and inverse variation. Very first of all, what is difference between these two variation? Now to understand this, we are going to take an example. Suppose we are going to purchase some chocolate and going to pay some cost and the cost of one chocolate, that is price of chocolate is 5 rupees. Suppose we take one chocolate, in that case we will be pay rupees 5. Now if you take two chocolate, in that case we are going to pay rupees 10. Then if we take three chocolate, then we are going to pay 15. If we take four chocolate, in that case we will be paying rupees 20. And if we take five chocolate, then we are going to pay rupees 5. Now here what do we see? If we are increasing the number of chocolates, then the cost of the chocolate is also increasing. So this is a case of direct variation. Here the data is increasing or decreasing in one direction only. Now again we are taking a case in which uh, we are going to purchase a chocolate and we have to pay some price. Now we are having another case in which we are having a price of a chocolate and the number of chocolates. Here we are having 100 rupees with this and with the help of this 100 rupees we are going to purchase the chocolate. If I decide to purchase the chocolate worth rupees 5. So how many chocolates we can purchase with the help of 100 rupees? It will be 20. Now if I decide to purchase a chocolate worth rupees 10, in that case we will be able to buy only 10 chocolates. If we take the chocolate of rupees 20, then we will be able to take only 5 chocolates. If you take the chocolate worth rupees 50, in that case we will be able to take only 2 chocolates and if you take the chocolate of rupees 100, in that case we will be able to take only 1 chocolate. So here what we see, while increasing the price of the chocolate, we are able to take less number of chocolates. Here the direction of variation is in opposite direction. So this is an example of inverse variation. Now we are going to start with the exercise 9.1 and here we are going to deal with question number 3. In question number 3 it has been given if 8 meter cloth cost rupees 250 find the cost of 5.8 meter of cloth. Now here we are having the two parameters on which the question is dependent. So 8 meter of cloth cost rupees 250 and we have to find the cost of 5.8 meter cloth. Let's take the cost of this one be x. Now as we know if you are going to take the cloth for the longer length we have to pay more and if you are going to take the cloth for the lesser length then we have to pay less. So this is a case of direct variation. So here we are going to put the arrows in anyone because it is exceeding over here. So we have put the direction in this one. Now this can be written in fraction that is 5.8 upon 8 equals to x upon 250. Then we are going to do the cross multiplication on doing so this will be x equals to 5.8 into 250 upon 8. And on solving this we will be getting rupees 181.25 as answer. Now let us move to question number 4. Here in this question number 4 we are having if a labor earns rupees 672 per week, how much will he earn in 18 days? Now here we are having the days and the earning. For the earning of 7 days is rupees 672 and the earning of 18 days is to be calculated. Now we know that as much days we work, we earn more or less. So here this is again a direct variation. We are going to put the arrows in this direction because this one is greater. So similarly it will be in this side only. Now this can be written as 7 upon 18 equals to 672 upon x. Now here we can do the cross multiplication. This will be equals to x equals to 672 into 18 upon 7. Now on solving this 7, 9 and 6 times. So x equals to rupees. 1,728 as answer. Now let's do question number 5. Here, if $175 cost rupees 7,350, how many dollars can be purchased in rupees 24,024? 
Now here in this question we are having dollar and rupees. One seventy five dollar values to rupees seven thousand three hundred and fifty. We have to find the number of dollars which values to rupees twenty four thousand and twenty four. So here let take this one be x and this will again be a direct variation. Now we can place the arrows in one head. So this can be written as one seventy five upon x equals to seven three five zero upon two four zero two four. Now, on doing the cross multiplication, this will be equals to x into seven three five zero equals to one seven five into two four zero two four. Here, x will be equals to one seven five into two four zero two four upon seven three five zero. And on solving this, x will be equals to five seventy two dollars. As answer. Now let's go with question number six. Here, if a car travels six seven point five kilometers in four point five liters of petrol, how many kilometers will it travel in twenty six point four liters of petrol? Now here we are having petrol and the distance travelled by the car. So if it is having four point five liters of petrol, it is going for sixty seven point five kilometers. Now we have to find the distance covered if it is having 26.4 liters so we can place x over here as we all know the car runs as far we are having the petrol so this is a direct variation we are going to put the arrow in this head and here too in this direction so therefore this can be written as 4.5 upon 26.4 equals to 67.5 upon x here on doing the cross multiplication this will become x into 4.5 equals to 67.5 into 26.4 so x equals to 67.5 into 26.4 upon 4.5 now on solving this we will be having the value of x as 396 kilometers now let's move to question number 7 here In this question, we are having if the thickness of a pile of twelve cardboard seat is forty-five mm, then how many seats of the same cardboard would be ninety centimeter thick? Now here in this question, we are having thickness and cardboard. If we are having twelve cardboard, then we are having the thickness of forty-five mm. We have to find the number of cardboards for the thickness of ninety centimeter. So very first of all, we have to equate their units. So this ninety centimeter can be written as nine hundred. mm because 1 cm equals to 10 mm now here this is increasing in this direction so we are going to put the arrow in this one and similarly this will also be in this direction now therefore this can be written as 45 upon 900 equals to 12 upon x now 45 one times and 45 two and zero now we can do the cross multiplication and doing so we get x equals to 20 into 12 that is equals to 240 cardboards as answer that's all in this video thank you